Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you? How are you, Jader? Victor, I... thank you. I will, thank you. All right, you're doing well, that's nice. Victor, gracias por unirse, thank you very much. Beatriz as well, thank you very much for being here. How are you? How, how was your day? Beatriz, hello. Hello, all. Hello, Victor. I hope you feel better. Eh, me comentó que iba a ser listener, ¿verdad? So, yeah. that is quite fine. Don't worry. Thank you very much. Gracias por unirse igual, all right? Well, Gracias por unirse. Thank you very much for joining today. This is uh, station number six. Okay. And um, vamos a intentar el día de ahora. We are going to try to uh, finish the second part, okay, of the, of the content that we have. So we have been checking before uh, illness, okay. We were checking also uh, imperatives, all right. And uh, we were also checking um, a little bit of medicine, okay? So with the topics, with the, uh, con lo que hemos estado revisando, with the things we have been checking, um, do you have any question? ¿Han tenido alguna dificultad con la plataforma? Have you had any problem, any issue? ¿O todo bien? ¿Ya lo completamos? Did we check the second part? Did we complete it? Alguien ha tenido alguna dificultad. Miguel, hello, thank you for joining. Is everything good? Good, very good. Okay, thank perfect, you. that's all right. Jader, Beatriz, what about you? No, todo bien, no, no he tenido problema. Perfect, that's all right. And Beatriz, hello. Voy a Oh, vamos en la una. Okay, that's all right. Y todo bien hasta el momento, Beatriz. Is everything good? Perdón, teacher. Y hasta el momento está todo bien. Is everything good? Ha tenido alguna dificultad? Ah, uh, no, teacher. Okay, good. That is all right. Okay, so let me share my screen right here. Um, veo que también se nos une Mayra. All right. So welcome uh, to today's session, all right? And uh, allow me just a second here. Le voy a compartir my screen so you can take a look at it and we can get it started, all right? Okay, so this is um, what we are going to be checking today. We are going to check um, imperatives, okay? Uh, so the objective is Use imperatives to talk about common health problems and also medicine. So, ya iniciamos. We have already um, begun talking about this. So, we are going to um, practice as much as possible, all right? And uh, just to get started, we have like a little conversation here, all right? So, um, just to check vocabulary. So, first of all, we checked before, all right? that si quiero preguntar cuál es el problema que te sucede so i can ask uh, this question that is what's the matter or what's wrong all right and that is like cuál es el problema que te sucede all right so we have this conversation between sophie and mark and this is the way it starts okay so what's the matter with you so cuál es el problema que te sucede all right so everybody please uh, repeat after me. What's the matter with you, Mark? What's the matter with you, Mark? All right. I have an awful pain in my throat. I have an awful pain in my throat. Okay, so this part is your throat, all right? La garganta. Exactly. I have an awful pain. Pain is otra forma de decir dolor, all right? I have an awful, awful, a bad, a terrible. So I have an awful pain in my throat, all right? 
And uh, the next person, Sophie says, oh, what did you eat yesterday? So repitamos, oh, what did you eat yesterday? Oh, what, oh, what did, did you eat yesterday? yesterday? After school, I went with my friends and we ate an ice cream. After, After school, school, I, I went, went with, with my friends and we ate an ice cream. ice cream. Thank you. All right, so fueron, they went, um, well, he went with his friends, all right? Y se comieron. This is probably the, the situation, the cause, all right? So they ate an ice cream. Comieron uh, un sorbete, right? Um, and Sophie says, oh, it's sure. Did you take any medicines? So let's repeat it. It's sure. It's sure. Did you take any medicine? Did you take, Did any, you medicine? take any medicines? No, I didn't. No, no I, I didn't. didn't. But mom gave me a hot tea. But mom, but mom gave, gave me a hot, hot tea. All right, very good. And Sophie says, oh, if it still hurts, see the doctor. If it, if it still hurts, still see hurts, the doctor. It hurts. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at a couple of important information here. Tell me, what is the part of the body, okay, um, in which Mark is having difficulties? ¿De qué parte del cuerpo hablamos? What is the part of the body? Throat. Garganta. Exactly, that is the throat, all right? So, wow. number two. ¿Cuál es la recomendación? What is kind of the, the recommendation that Sophie gives? See the doctor. See the doctor, exactly. So if it still hurts, se aún duele, okay? So we have the word hurts. See the doctor, okay? Um, now, next question. ¿Tomó medicinas? Did he take medicines? Yes. Her mom gave hot tea. Very good. So his mom gave him hot tea. En realidad no fue medicina, kind of a home remedy, okay? So fue como un remedio casero. But it was not exactly pills or something. So this is like a very common uh, conversation, okay? And I have some questions for you based on this conversation. So number one, let's take a look at this. Uh, the text is about what? Games, health problems, or sports? ¿Cuál de los tres? Health problem. B. Oh, exactly. So the text is about health problems, all right? So problemas de salud. Now, next one. Let's take a look at this one. Uh, Mark has, ¿qué tipo de problema o qué tipo de, de pain? Um, does he have? So Mark has Hello. a stomachache, a headache, or a sore throat? A sore throat. A sore throat. All right, thank you. So, ¿cómo decimos dolor de garganta? Sore throat. Exactly, this is a sore, sore, sore throat. Sore. That means sore. that it hurts, okay? Sore throat. throat. Very good. Sore Next throat. one, take a look at this. Mark has a common illness. This is true or false. Tell me if it is true or false. Mark has a common illness. Is it true or false? False. Es como una enfermedad común. Mark has a common illness. Yes. Yes. Yes, true. right? So it is true. true. So a sore throat is algo bien común, como un refredo, un dolor de cabeza, right? So it is true. And he took medicine. ¿Tomó medicina? Did he take medicine? True. No. True or no. false? I think. Well, tomó un té, right? So puede considerarse medicina. It can be considered medicine. It is um, home remedy, but it's fine. So let's say that, yeah, he took some medicine because he took a tea, all right? Now, let's take a look at this second part. It says, match words to their synonyms. We have the words right here. So we have matter, we have awful, pain, medicines. 
And on the other side, we have ache, drugs, problem, and terrible, all right? So what I want you to do is simple. We are going to match. What is the meaning of match? What is match? Match, a uh, mother with problem. Exactly, so matching is unir, all right? So we are going to put together the words with the synonyms. Thank you. All right, so les voy a dar un minuto. I will give you one minute, okay? So match them. ¿Cuál es el que corresponde? If I tell you uh, matter, what is the synonym of matter, all right? So I'll give you one minute, okay? I am right here, everybody. So if you have any question, uh, please let me know. I will give you one minute. Let's match them. Hello, hello. Are we finished? Yes, Good. I'm finished. Okay, very good. So, um, all right, so let's check, okay? Let's try to complete them together. Number one, uh, matter. What is the synonym of matter? Problem. Problem, Problem? thank you very much. What about all foil? Terrible. Terrible, Terrible. very good. What about pain? Ache. Ache, Ache. exactly. Ache. And medicine? Drugs. That would be drugs. Okay, very good. So now let's repeat it. Matter, repitamos please. Matter. Ma matter. matter. Problem. 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 Awful. 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 Terrible. Terrible. Pain. 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 Ache. 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 Medicine. Ache. Medicine. Medicine. Drug. Draw, draw. Draw, draw. Okay, draw. very good. There we draw. go. Exactly. That is a Well, they are drugs. Now let's take a look at the following part. Okay. So over here we have um, it says here use the words in the box to name the pictures. And if you check right here on the right, on the right, a la derecha, all right, we have the words fever, doctor, five senses, and capsule. All right, so for example, this one, what is this? How do you call this one? Five senses. Five senses, exactly. So los cinco sentidos, right? Five senses. What about this one? The second one with the girl. Fever, thank you. What about this one? Capsule. All right, so that's capsule. And this one is? Doctor. Doctor. A doctor, there you go. Excellent, very good job, okay. Now, let's take a look at this. All right, first of all, we have right here, uh, exercise number two and number three. Number two says, we order the words to get a correct sentence, okay? So, está desordenado, all right? We are going to reorder the words to make sentences, okay? Uh, we have toothache, she, a terrible, and has. 
So you have to put them to get put them together here and in the correct order. And number three says put the verbs in the correct forms. So we have he has got the flu, stay in bed and go out. But this is not exactly right. Okay. So I will give you one more minute. In number two, vamos a reordenarla. All right. So you are going to write it in the correct uh, position, each of the words. And right here, vamos a corregir la oración. Okay. We are going to correct it. Yesterday, revisábamos imperatives. All right. And we checked that uh, to use imperatives, necesito solo el verbo if it is positive. Or if it is negative, I simply say don't and then the verb, all right? So I will give you one minute, all right? Let's complete number two and number three. Hello, hello. Did we finish? I put one and your teacher, a ver si está bien. Let me check. All right, so I see she has two things, a terrible. Okay, well, todavía hay algo que podemos cambiar. Hay algo que podemos mejorar, right? There is still something there. Yes. Um, Do we have the answer for number one? She has to read it. Well, number two. Um, uh, Ceci she says, has... okay, very good. So Ceci says uh, she has a terrible toothache. Excellent. That is the correct answer. Exactly. She has a terrible toothache. Very good. There you go. Uh, what about number three? It says he has got the flu. Stay in bed and go out. What do you have for number three? The first part, it is fine. So he has got the flu, all right? Le dio gripe, so he has got the flu. But uh, take a look at this. Stay in bed and go out. So there is a little mistake, all right? Uh, let me see, Carolina says, um, go out and stay in bed. Thank you, Carolina. All right, but remember this, if I say stay in bed, it's like quedes en la cama, right? And go out, it's like, y salga, all right? Mm, but the recommendation, I mean, imagine you are the doctor. Stay in bed 
and not go out. Oh, very close. Really, really close. Pero me le hace falta algo, right? So he has got the flu, uh, stay in bed, and negative. How do we make no. negative sentences? Not, yes. Pero le agregamos algo más aparte de not. That is? Uh, didn't. Mm, that would be bad. Don't, exactly. So he has got the flu. Stay in bed and don't go out. And that's it, all right? So it is really okay. easy. Uh, don't forget the don't, all right? Uh, we use it for, con, um, y no utilizamos pronombre, right? So we simply say, stay in bed and don't go out. All right, really good. So very good job, everybody. Now let's take a look. Let's go back to the conversation, okay? Let's go back to the beginning of um, uh, today's session, all right? Allow me just a second. I see something in the chat. Don't stay in bed. Well, Sassy, that would be stay in bed. So, quédese en la cama, right? Stay in bed. But negative would be and don't go out, all right? You know, salga. Guarde reposo. So, don't go out. All right. So, let's take a look at this part right here. Okay. We have these. Um, short conversation. So what we are going to do is really easy, okay? We are going to get in groups of three, okay? And we are going to practice this short conversation. Of course, vamos a cambiarle nombre. For example, it says Mark here. So I can change it for what's the matter with you, Carolina? What's the matter with you, um, Jader, okay? And here in the conversation, it says, I have an awful pain in my throat, but we can change it. I have an awful pain in my back, or I have an awful pain in my foot, in my knee, all right? Y podemos cambiarla. We can vary this a little bit, all right? So we are going to make some groups right now. Remember, the objective is to practice, okay? So practice as much as possible, all right? So everybody, here we go. Hello, hello, Victor. Well, you can join one of the groups. Se puede unir para que los escuche, right? So you can listen to them. There's no problem. Me caen algunos, pero no sé si es otro grupo el que tengo. No sé. Vaya, entonces. Yo lo voy a escuchar. No, no sé. Vaya, ya, la, ya la tengo aquí ya. Vaya, entonces, empiece, José. Yo... Vaya. What's the matter with you, Mark? Hello? Ya. Yeah. <laughs> no. Solo me digo una parte. Que no, yo soy uno y Mark es otro. Ajá. Aquí estamos. Was the mar with you, José. I have. 
I have a one full pain in my third. Um, oh, does the you eat yesterday? After school, I went with me friends in with hat and ice cream. Um, I I eat. I eat sure. I do you take anti medicine? Medicine. 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 No, I didn't. But mom have you. Gave, gave, gave me. Gave me a hot thing. It is a. Is the house see doctor? Doctor. The doctor. Doctor. The doctor. Okay. All right, very nice. That is quite fine. So just don't forget this word. This is throat. Okay. Throat. Lo podemos throat. cambiar. We can change it. So throat, throat. All right. Throat. Of course, you can change it. So that is quite fine. And um, this is with. All right. So with my friends. And this is medicine. Right. That was pretty nice, okay? That was quite fine. So let's uh, continue practicing, okay? Mayra, Carolina, maybe you can go next. <laughs> okay. okay. So let's continue, guys. Voy a, uh, a compartir con el otro grupo too, all right? Okay, okay. <laughs> so, thank you, teacher. Thank you. On. No problem. That's okay. O sea, José, podemos cambiarla por truth? Podemos... Diga. Ah, no, you. ¿Quién comienza? Hello, hello. ¿Cómo vamos here? Ah, solo hemos repasado el diálogo, este, teacher. Ahora oh, okay. vamos a, a cambiarlo. Ok, very good. That is just fine. Cambiemos una o dos palabritas, right? That is quite fine. So that is to practice. Oh, ok, so... Okay. All right, yeah. let's go ahead. Uh, Victor is a listener, right? So you can practice, okay? And that is just fine. Eso solo le va a estar escuchando, right? Okay. Vilma? Hey. Okay. Um, quiero ver. Si quiere, comienzo yo. Comienzo yo. Ah, okay. Vilma. Eh, bueno, comienzo. What is the matter with your Vilma? Um, I had um a flu. Pain okay. In the door. In the door. Oh. Why did you eat yesterday? Um, after uh, office. I went with my friends, uh, no, with my co-worker and we had um, ice cream. Okay, it's sure? Did you take any medicine? Medic medic mm, no, I didn't, but daddy get, get, get me uh, coffee. If if it still hurts, see the doctor. Okay. All right, that is quite fine. All right, so just let me see. There was a word. Okay, this one right here. This is medicine, right? Do you take any medicine? Um, Pronunciation. This, yeah, this is medicine. This right here is eight, okay, como el número eight, all right? And this one right here is gave, okay? So, but mom gave me a hot tea. This is gave. Gay, como es que nosotros dimos, give me, creo, ¿verdad? Oh, give me is perfect, okay? Uh, give me is present. Gave is like mi mamá me dio, right? She gave uh. me. Es el mismo verbo, solo que este es pasado, right? So, she ah, okay. gave me a hot tea, okay? Gave. Yeah, if you say this in present, it's okay. So, my mom gives me a hot tea. Y podemos agregar whenever, okay? So, oh. if you remember, el día de ayer revisamos whenever. So, whenever I feel sick, 
whenever I have the flu. Okay, podemos agregar esto too. No problem, that's okay. All right, so let's continue practicing. Okay, you're doing a good job. Let's continue, all right. Les, nos vemos en un par de segundos, okay? Okay. So let's go bueno. on, let's go on. Thank you. Te caliente, sí. Mm -hmm. eh, sí, dice, if still, is Esta it? Esta parte, sí. Si sí, aún, sí, 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 aún duele. Si aún duele. Si mm -hmm. aún duele. Ve al doctor. Ve al doctor. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Si aún duele, ve al doctor. Ok. Perfecto. Gracias. Sí. Y yo creo que así se comprende más la cosa. E Esa palabra última, horse, casi suena horse. como corazón, ¿verdad? Ah, sí. Horse. Horse. Pero heart. corazón es con A, ¿verdad? Ajá. Heart. Ajá. Heart. 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 A little, sí. kind of, all right, but corazón is hurt, okay, and this one is kind of hurt. Más okay. cerradito, all right. Okay, so, ¿cómo Más vamos uh, here? ¿De qué se terminamos? Did you practice? Sí, estamos, uh, sí, estamos bien ahí con el grupo. Ah, okay, okay. Sí. Did you have any issue, pronunciation things? Pronunciation. ¿Le cambiamos? Sí. Sí. Se pronuncia así, estilo. Steel, yeah, that is correct. Uh, Le cambiaron um, diferentes palabras. Did you change the names? Did you change the illness? ¿Hicieron algún, algún cambio? Did you make any change? No. No. Uh, okay, no. so let's stay some seconds. Okay, um, hagamos un par de cambios. For example, let me share the, the conversation here. What's a matter, ya there, for example. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay. So you can make it more of something um, personal, all right? No, so okay. instead of saying, what's the matter with you, Mark? Okay, cambiémoslo. What's the matter with you, Hugo? Okay. What's the matter yeah. with you, eh, Erica? Okay. And I here have you an said, awful pain in my leg. Exactly, exactly. So you can make it more personal, all right? I have an awful pain in my throat, in my leg, in my head. So it is okay. So hagámoslo más personal, all right? So, okay. okay, let's go for it. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Let's go. Okay. No problem. I will give you one more minute, okay, para que practiquemos, all right? And y luego regresamos a la sesión principal, all right? So let's continue. One more minute. Okay. Okay. Hello, hello. How was your practice? ¿Cómo estuvo la práctica? How was it? Good. It was very good. good. Okay, very good. All right, nice. That is really good to hear. Uh, ¿Lograron revisar pronunciación? Were you able to check it? Is there any, uh, any word or anything I can help you with? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta? Do you have any question? Well, if you have questions, you can write it in the chat uh, section, okay? Or uh, you can raise your hand. That is fine, okay? So we are just going to continue right here, okay? And we have, well, one more part that we are going to check, all right? That is related to medicine. So yesterday we didn't check too much on it. 
So first of all, let me uh, share my screen right here. Just a second. Okay, here we go. First of all, let's take a look at this exercise. Number four says, cross the old one out, all right? So there are four words here, pero una no pertenece. One does not belong in this category. We have leg, we have smell, we have hear, touch. So tell me, help me with this one. ¿Cuál es la que no pertenece? One is different. Between these four, which is different, ¿cuál es la que es diferente? Touch. Leg. Leg. All right. So we have leg. Leg is a part of the body. Smell, hear, and touch son acciones, all right? And están relacionadas con los sentidos. But leg is not. So leg is different. Very good. Nice. What about this one? We have eye drops. Syrup shoulder ache, and insect spray. ¿Cuál es diferente? Which is different? Insect spray. Shoulder ache, exactly. That is different, all right? So eye drops is cuando duelen los ojos, when you have problems with your eyes, se pone gotitas, okay? So they are drops. Syrup is when you have a, a cough, all right? Or when you have a sore throat. Shoulder ache is like a pain in the shoulder, okay? And insect spray, so like when you have mosquito bites, cuando les pican los mosquitos, right? So you have an insect spray, you know? Um, so this, this one, this one, and this one right here, some medicine, a kind of medicine, but this is not. Very good. Now let's, allow me just a second here. Okay, there we go. Now let's take a look at this part. Let's take a look at the following. It says, your friend has got a terrible backache, all right? So, mi amigo tiene un dolor de espaldas. My friend has a terrible backache, all right? First of all, let's take a look at this. It says here, uh, well, choose the appropriate medicine for him. We have patches, inflammatory tablets, syrup, uh, vitamin C or ointment, all right? For a backache. Can you tell me, please? Okay, so tablets. What is good? Patches and okay. inflammatory stable. Okay, so these two, thank you. What about vitamin C? Is this good? Yes or no? No. For backache, mm -hmm. no. No. Okay, for no. a backache, no. 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 Ointment? What about ointment for a backache? Mm, Maybe. No. Maybe? All right. Maybe. Maybe. All right. What about syrup? This one says cough syrup. Okay. Is this good for a backache? Oh. It's not good for backache. It is not good. Oh, it is for okay. cough, all right? It's para la tos. All right. Very good. That is quite fine. Now let's take a look at the following. Since they can me ayudaron con eso, let's take a look at this. It says here, give him some advice using imperatives, okay? So my friend, remember, my friend has a terrible backache, all right? So tiene un dolor de espalda. Now the point is, or the question is, uh, what are like some of the things that he can do, all right? Using imperatives, you are going to tell me if it is put or don't put, if it is have or don't have, and carry or don't carry, okay? Y si podemos agregar uno más, that would be great, okay? So I will give you one minute, okay? Tomemos nota, please, take notes, all right? And uh, I will give you one minute only. Thank you. 
Okay, everybody, are we finished? Terminamos? Yes, finished. Okay, very good. So let's take a look at number one, okay? Uh, that mm -hmm. will be put or don't put? Put. Okay, put some ointment. Thank you very much. Uh, what about this one? Have or don't have? Have some rest. Have, have some, some rest. rest. Thank you very much. What about this one? Carry or don't carry? Don't, don't carry. carry don't, carry. don't carry, exactly. Que no las cargue, right? Don't carry. One more. Tenemos otra? Do you have one more here? Don't do exercise. Okay, very good. Don't do exercise. Thank you. Alguien más? Anybody else? Don't do exercise. Tenemos otra. Do you have another one? Mayra, Alfredo, Caro, Miguel, Ceci, Vilma, Erica. Do you have another one? Juan Carlos, Hugo, Mr. Mejia. Do you have another one? Uh, Beatriz. Hey, uh, I'll Okay, so take, I guess you say, take some pills, okay? All right, take some pills, analgesic, all right? Painkillers, all right, quite fine. Otra más, do you have any other? Uh, go, uh, maybe go to the doctor. Go to the doctor, very good. That is the most important thing, right? Okay, uh, go to the doctor. No, take dry soda. Okay, so because it is negative, remember Juan Carlos that negative have don't. Okay, don't. So don't. Don't. Mm -hmm. Don't. They don't. They don't have. Mm -hmm. I don't have a dry soda. Okay, sería tomar, right? Tomar is drink. So drink. don't drink Absolutely. soda. Mm -hmm. don't, don't drink soda. Drink. Okay, soda. sing an I, all right? Don't drink oh, okay. soda. Thank you. That's it, we're good. All right, thank you very much. Now let's, uh, we are going to go for the final part, okay, uh, to the last part of today's session. Some of you, creería que ya avanzaron con esto, but some of you have not. This is part, all right, just let me go. This is 4.12, this is knowledge check, all right? It's in the platform, and this one says, read the article and then complete the sentences. It says here, simple ways to improve your health, all right? You have this little reading, okay? For example, eat breakfast, go for a walk, uh, floss your teeth, drink eight cups of water, stretch your uh, for five minutes. Um, it's number six says, wear a seatbelt, 
do something to challenge your brain, protect your skin, get enough calcium, and take a time out or a break um, of 20 minutes. Now, based on this, okay, we are going to answer the exercises, okay, that are below. So let's do this one. I'm going to make this smaller, all right? So you can take a look at this one. Otherwise, eh, podemos entrar a la plataforma, okay? Y hacemos el ejercicio de una sola vez. So we take advantage of it, all right? So I'm going to make this smaller. Okay, so here we go. I will give you like two minutes so you can read it. And then we do the exercises. O los vamos haciendo de una sola vez. Los hacen uh, conmigo, right? So that is quite fine. Si ya los hicieron, so it is really good porque ya tienen una idea, right? What um, each of the parts is, well, what it says here y también de las preguntas, all right? So I'll give you two minutes. Leámoslo, all right? Read it. So we can take a look at it. We can discuss it in some seconds. So everybody, um, vayamos haciendo el ejercicio de una sola vez si no lo hemos completado yet, all right? So please, entremos a la plataforma, all right? This is um, knowledge check, all right? It is the last uh, section, the one that says reading comprehension, okay? And uh, we are going to practice Scanning a little bit. Todos estamos en la plataforma. Are you there? Please levantemos la manita just to, uh, to indicate, okay, to tell me que ya estamos listos. So we can go for the, for the questions here. So, Erica, thank you. Veola de Erica, thank you very much. Alguien más ya está listo. Juan Carlos, thank you.
Mayra, thank you very much. There we go. Alguien más? Anybody else? One more person and we start like checking them, all right? So, Miguel, are we ready? Carolina, Yadur, estamos en la plataforma, are you there? Teacher, ¿qué sección dijo que era, perdón? Estamos en, allow me a second here. Estamos 4. en la 4.12, 4.12. Knowledge check. Es la última. Uh, thank you, Alfredo. I got it. Gracias, teacher. You're so welcome. Okay, very good. So let's start doing the exercises together, okay? So first of all, let's take a look at the questions we have right here. Number one says, to get exercise, what do we do? So we, I'm sorry, we eat breakfast, we protect, well, protect your skin, go for a walk or um, stretch for five minutes. So in number one, what is the answer in number one? Stretch for five minutes. Thank you, yeah. Okay, so that is a stretch for five minutes. So podemos ir haciéndolo en la plataforma, right, at the same time. Take a look at number two. To help your bones. Bones son los huesos, right? To help your bones. What is something that is like a really good idea? Uh, to get enough calcium, floss your teeth. Floss is um, usar el hilo dental, right? Drink a glasses of water every day or stretch for five minutes. Number two, alguien tiene la respuesta? Do you check it? Eh, oh, calcium. Oh. So that would be the oh. Excellent, the first, get enough calcium, very good. Now let's go for number three. Uh, to help your muscles, okay, muscle, sus músculos, to help your muscles. What is something you can do? Protect your skin, stretch for five minutes, wear a seat belt, okay, el cinturón, or go for a walk. Go for a walk. Go for a walk. To help your muscles. Go for a walk. Go for a walk or a stretch. Revisamos la respuesta en el aula en el en la plataforma, okay? Stretch for stretch for five minutes. Did you check it in the in the platform? ¿Cuál tenemos en la plataforma? Stretch for stretch for five minutes. Stretch for five minutes. All right. Thank you very much. Number four. To keep your gums healthy. What is the meaning of gum? What is this? Flush your teeth. Gum is la encía, right? So to keep your gum healthy, uh, we have here the options, okay? And we have one, thank you, Mr. Albarenga, that says, floss your teeth, exactly. Que usa el hilo dental, right? Floss your teeth, very good. Are you with me? Todos eh, van conmigo? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, perfect. That's all right. Now let's take a look at number five. To have energy for the morning. What is something that you can do to have energy for the morning? Stretch breakfast. for five minutes. Eat breakfast. Okay. Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Exactly. Do you eat breakfast? Breakfast. Desayuna. Do you eat breakfast every yes. day? Yes. Yes. Yes, every you day. do. Okay, very good. So eat breakfast. All right. Next one, to challenge your brain. What is the meaning of challenge? To a cross concept or read a new book. So challenge is un reto, all right? So para retar a little bit, to challenge your brain. What is something that we can do? Do a crossword puzzle or read a new book or water helps your body or do, do something different. Number six, uh, Jader says do a crossword, 
right? Yeah. Do you all agree? Todos estamos de acuerdo? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that is good. So do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Do you solve puzzles? Le gusta eh, resolver rompecabezas, you know, acertijos, crucigamas, crucigamas, mm, yes. Mm -hmm. Do you do that? Lo hacen? Do you challenge your brain? Yes. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yes, you do? Okay, very good. There you go. And so, this is pretty much a... Envíen las respuestas, okay? Submit your answers in the platform. Uh, make sure que han seleccionado la respuesta correcta, all right? And just submit it. Y así avanzamos also in your platform, all right? So everybody, do you have any question for me before we finish uh, today's class? Questions, comments? Eh, ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre uh, encías y chicle? Comments. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, the part of the body is called, let me just uh, type it here. The part of the body is called gum, all right? G-U-M. Let me make this a little bigger. All right. And chicle, normally we can call it chewing gum, all right? So it can be a little confusing, but this is chicle, all right? Chewing gum. ¿Verdad que go, eh, go es goma? Uh, it could be, but also gum here in este ejercicio. Estamos hablando de las encías, ah, right? Ah, okay. Sometimes lo sabemos um, por el contexto ya ver. So tenemos que ver cuál es el contexto, all right? Uh, to get or to understand si me está diciendo las encías o me está diciendo la goma de mascar, all right? Okay. All right. So any other question? Una pregunta, teacher. Uh, yes, Miguel. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, tell me, Juan Carlos, and then we go with Miguel. Una pregunta. Okay. No hay problema si yo ya terminé la plataforma. No, of course not. There's no problem. So, actually, it is positive. Porque si ya terminó, that is awesome. Y solamente nos quedamos practicando, right? Eso es lo que um, estoy haciendo, teacher. Yo lo okay. estoy practicando porque ya la plataforma ya la tiré. Awesome, that is really good, that is really good. De esa manera puede buscar ejercicios extra, all right? O repasa los mismos temas para ver si algo se le quedó por ahí medio eh, que no lo, lo puede comprender, all right? Lo que estoy haciendo, teacher, empezando desde el 1, volver a empezar de nuevo, repasando todo. Great, that is awesome. Y si los demás podemos terminar antes, good, that would be great. Eh, I'm sorry, Miguel, tell me, how can I help yes. you? Sí, o sea, para... Siempre con la idea de gum y, y gum. Eh, por ejemplo, goma de mascar siempre, siempre hay que poner chewing, chewing, chewing gum. Mm, it really depends. Most of the times lo diferenciamos de esta forma, but as I, uh, well, as I said before, eh, depende del contexto, all right? So por el contexto mm. usted se va a guiar, all right? Mm. So okay. as many words, it is because of the context, all right? Okay. So everybody, thank you very much uh, for being here, all right? So we finished today's class. Terminamos la sección número dos as well. Tomorrow, comenzamos que la sección número tres, okay? So don't miss um, the online classes. Y si podemos avanzar y terminarlo antes, that would be great. Y nos quedamos, nos quedamos solo practicando eh, de forma oral, all right? So thank you, everybody. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. All right. Good night. Enjoy night. it good and tomorrow. rest well. Good night, teacher. Good night. Have a good night. Good night.